Let's look at something in graph theory that's historically called the traveling salesman problem, but that's a little sexist, so you can call it traveling saleswoman, person, being, or whatever you want. The uh, point is it's usually abbreviated TSP. So the overview is pretty simple. I took this map off of Wikipedia. Here's the attribution. And the idea is that you want to visit for whatever reason, maybe you're a sales being, or just maybe it's post COVID times and you want to go do a victory lap and visit all those grandparents and friends you haven't seen in forever. So you have a number of places you like to visit on the map and you're going to get there through a combination of flying and driving. And you're going to want to visit Portland, Oregon, Portland, Maine, Detroit, Michigan, Denver, Colorado, Las Vegas, California, Phoenix, Arizona, Honolulu, Hawaii, Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, and Atlanta, Georgia, if you can manage to put it at the right place on the map in the first place. Now, you don't really care what order you visit them in. The point is you just want to make a route that goes through every city and comes back to where you started. And because it's more efficient that way, you don't want to visit any city more than once. So what you do is you represent this as a graph with connections between the vertices. So Portland 1 in Oregon, the larger Portland, is P1. Over here, you have Portland, Maine. You could probably take a flight directly from 1 to 2. In fact, you could probably take flights from most of these cities straight to any others. Maybe not all of them are possible. Maybe there's no direct flight from Las Vegas to Portland, Maine, so there's no edge connecting those two, but you can certainly get there another way. What this problem means in terms of graph theory is you're going to find a Hamiltonian circuit of lowest weight, because I didn't say it on this map, but it's probably obvious to anyone who's traveled, is there is a cost to traveling from one city to another. So each edge would have a weight associated with it, whether it's terms of drive time in number of hours or minutes, or flight time in terms of number of minutes or dollars. So you're gonna find a Hamiltonian circuit of lowest weight, which means you need to visit each city each once and return to your starting location. There are a few different ways to attempt to solve the traveling salesman problem. The brute force method would be better suited for a computer. It would be look at every itinerary and see which one is best. But when we say every itinerary, that means quite a lot of them. If you think about starting in Portland, you could go to any one of these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight locations next. And from then each of those eight locations next, you'd have seven choices after that and six choices after that and so on. So there'd be quite a lot of possible itineraries to look at, but that is guaranteed to give you the best results. One that's a lot more practical is the nearest neighbor. This one works just by asking, where's the cheapest place to go next? So wherever you're at, you just pick the cheapest place you haven't been to yet and go there. Repetitive nearest neighbor we'll also talk about. It's similar to nearest neighbor because you just look at the cheapest place to go next, but you look at every possible starting location because if you think about it, if you're trying to make a circuit, it doesn't really matter if you start here or here or here or here or here because it's a circuit, you're going to visit each place once and return to where you started. In the cheapest link algorithm, you look at best prices. So whatever has the best price, you're gonna snap up that flight or car trip or whatever it is, and you're just gonna keep snapping up the best deals that are going to make a circuit out of everything that you have. Those are the main algorithms. We don't gonna, we're not gonna look at this one because we are not a computer and we can't possibly look at every single itinerary. Once we get this one down, this one is very easy to tack onto it, and this one is very similar to something we've looked at before.